Well, today is really beautiful because we are putting filling materials in this property. And today we're gonna witness the progress of our breeding of this Japanese koi. And I'm very glad because out of mixed breeding or cross breeding, we were able to produce varieties of colors of this beta. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today is really beautiful because we are our halfway of filling or putting filling materials in this property. Well, we have acquired this property maybe five months ago and it was my dream to, of course, put some filling materials in order for us to utilize this property. And just right now, I decided to make this property as a breeding facility for our Japanese koi, our betta fish, and we will also turn this into a vegetable farm. I'm looking forward of the hydroponics. It's really my intention as well to grow these lettuces and several types of vegetables through hydroponic system. And this place is good because this is not covered with any tree and this will, of course, be heat by the sunlight all throughout the day. So I am thinking about making a greenhouse over this property. This is gonna be an exciting thing to wait because I am really very fascinated about breeding Japanese koi and betta fish and this is gonna be a good facility for those fishes that I have mentioned. And today we're gonna witness the progress of our breeding of this Japanese koi and also we would like to make a harvest of our betta fish. Well, how many weeks ago we mentioned about the breeding of this betta fish and today is the day for us to make a harvest. And also we will have a short glance of our baby kois, beautiful baby kois, which are very responsive to human beings now because they're already one month old.
I'm so happy to acquire this lot because this is very adjacent to our house and this lot is actually measured by 250 square meters and this is already good enough for the breeding facility of our fish and you will see that we almost filled this with filling materials see very adjacent to our breeding facility and uh, we're gonna convert this one into a good facility for our Japanese koi and of course this entails a big budget and talking about budget uh, we get our budget out also breeding this beta and this Japanese koi and all other types of fish and you were actually skeptical about what I revealed in the past videos that I really gain an income out of this breeding so you can just see that we have improved a lot and of course our pet store have also helped us a lot promoting our products and this youtube channel have helped us a lot also in drawing more customers to our store so far we have filled in some 50 trucks this entails a big budget also because every truck is cost around 1150 we hope that we can cover this area with 100 trucks i just hope so because this area is very deep this used to be the rice field before when uh, i get into this place uh, 220 years back this is the rice field and this was actually converted into residential area because the rice will no longer be suitable for this area because the water is really very deep and you will see that we have some 100 square meters unfilled and we dream to fill that within the month of november and then we're gonna build a greenhouse and then breeding facilities for our fish so we will feed our parent stocks actually this is already mixed because the parent stocks are also mixed with the small Japanese koi, the baby kois. And I have here good breeders, really very spawners. And the yellow ones was crossed to Yamubaki and we derived very good color. Actually, they are half breed already because the male was uh, a butterfly koi, the yellow butterfly koi. And we use some tricolor males also. And it gives us good result. And you will see the babies right here. So you guys can see our baby kois right here. They are already 30 days old, one month, and they are already responsive if we're gonna give them food. And you will see that they have uniform colors because the yellow, the platinum had been crossed, and then this is the result. But I expect that there will be tricolors that would be coming out out of this breeding because we use also one tricolor male. This has been our business for the past 20 years as what i have said and we've been true to you with our sharing and maybe you are also very interested to breed these types of fish we have so many videos about this we will provide the link below and you can check on it so these are now the fruits of our labor they are very healthy and then of course we will reveal to you that we are also giving live food and uh, if you don't have the live food in your place, maybe you can just order online the Artemia brine shrimps. That's also very effective if you're gonna feed that to the fry and also for the betta fish. There was a time that we cannot get any dapnya here because it was summer and we used the BBS, the baby brine shrimps, and that was very effective. And now we will harvest our betta. Betta fish are among the most popular and beautiful fish in the world. The genus Betta contains more than 73 recognized species. But the most people are familiar with is Betta splendors or otherwise known as the Siamese fighting fish. Wild betta fish are dull grayish green with short fins. But now, 
beta breeders are able to develop spectacularly colored fins beauties. Through selective breeding, a wide range of colors and fin types had been developed. So you will see that we have initially made a harvest and we have empty bottles everywhere <laughs> it's scattered but uh, we would like to continue this one and you will see we will share with you this business about better breeding so I'll remove my shoes okay and uh, we will dip our fit <laughs> right here so since we started grooming this beta we were thinking about how to maximize our time and effort especially during the time of feeding because this is really a very tedious task if we're gonna put them individually in separate containers so we don't have any option except to put them individually in separate containers because if we will group them together all together in one big containers then they will start fighting especially for the male betas we have to really innovate some techniques or improve some techniques and so far this is the best technique that i have adopted and if you have other technique than this well you can share also with us so that we can learn from your experiences but so far this technique in grooming beta is one of the best that i have experienced so in our earlier videos we made mention about the plastic bottles which is very uh, safe to use because it's not breakable and then we will just slice half of it at the neck portion for the water to exit during the chains of water so we will just fill in the water and then the water will just exit to through the holes that we have made and this is it and it made our work so easy especially in the feeding and in the changing of the water so you will see that we have so many betas and they are all adult ones and I'm surprised to see varieties of colors and you will see that these betas are really due for harvest because they are so beautiful they have already have molted and they have already displayed very beautiful colors and you will see right here wow we will just randomly select actually I have an order just this morning my staff in the pet store informed me that there are actually buyers that would like to buy some 50 of this beta 50 heads all males and they are also selling this one to their provinces and you know what i can sell 100 pesos each as wholesale price for this adult beta if you have 50 and then you will sell that at wholesale price of 100 maybe that's around 5,000 pesos i believe because uh, 50 times 100 is 5,000 if uh, my memory in mathematics serves me right you will select randomly this one oh not so big yet not so big we will choose the biggest so that we can also sell this one at a good price maybe we can move right there actually these are also for sale and uh, this was uh, the selection uh, made by our staff see this one very cute and this one we will sell this I already have selected some good breeders and this is one of my tip to you if you can select good breeder then take care of it if that father of the beta can take care of the baby fry then take care of that because that would be your asset because not all male betas are good fathers and uh, there are even betas that are white beaters in fact there are some that would really kill their wives uh, see so I tried to mix the blue ones with uh, the beta koi and this uh, gives us 
good uh, result you will see this one very elegant looking beta and maybe you will ask Dexter where can we dispose this one well if you have the Facebook account and you will post your betas I'm sure that the people will start messaging you the people will start inquiring about your betas and you can send this very fast because of the social media today and you guys can see our selected breeders you will see them here not all male betas can be good breeders there are really betas that don't know how to take care of their babies and if you have that you change the male beta it's not the fault of the female beta and also another thing that i would like to share is don't breed your beta when they are not ready to breed maybe they lack the maturity or maybe their condition is not good that the male and female are killing with its other so this is the sad thing the downside of breeding betas and many have shared that out of the tutorials in our videos we have series of tutorials how to breed this beta they were successfully able to breed all these betas and they're already earning an income also and i am so proud to learn all these things that they learn from us and they learn also some of the comments of our uh, followers some are beta breeders and sharing also their experiences so you will see this one this can produce very good color and this is a good father and we intend to breed this again by uh, the month of december and that's gonna be also covered with our our vlogs and uh, you will learn our techniques and uh, as soon as we can dispose everything we will empty this bottle and that's the time that we're gonna groom again for the next uh, uh, selling season so this is it let's see that and we will now start packing our betas So we have here 50 male betas and this is worth 5,000 pesos and uh, this is actually the fruits of our labor and I would like to tell you that there is no shortcut to success we have to pass through a process and this process is called perseverance hard work resiliency and of course faith in God and that's my principle and I would like to share this with you because those of you who are discouraged in life, you can still do in whatever you can as long as you have the positive mindset. And we're gonna bring this to the pet store and the buyer is waiting and we're gonna convert this into cash. And this is the nature of our business. And this is actually what inspires me a lot to do some vlogs, to share with you our techniques, our failures even, and of course, we will be sharing with you how we're gonna convert this that vacant lot that i was mentioning to a very beautiful breeding facility of this fish so that's all that we can share i hope guys you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're uploading videos every three to five days only here at dexter's world